Did that even do any damage to him? I don't think it did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it didn't. Hello survivors, Wanderer here, welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost, just exiting out of the tunnels into the Boston Airport ruins, and I'm going to be going up towards Libertalia today. So, uh, Libertalia is up here, it was mentioned in a note previously, I forget which one exactly, but I'm almost positive I have found a note that mentions Libertalia, and uh, that kind of hints that we should go there. And uh, that is, in fact, part of the main story of Frost. So I'm going to start kind of pursuing the main story of Frost and kind of working towards getting that done. Because I'd like to finish up the Commonwealth portion of Frost pretty soon here. I think we're about ready to embark on the, uh, the next journey, if you will. There are some places I haven't explored yet, but we'll explore those in the due course of completing the story. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're going to be heading up there. Um, I brought out the gauze rifle for some sniping, since Libertalia is a good spot for some sniping. And uh, also the uh, laser rifle, because it's lightweight and my best up-close weapon. We'll likely run into a sentry bot up there. If I remember correctly, anyways, there's a sentry bot over there. There's a... graveyard over here we can explore, too. I guess I haven't been there yet. Not sure what this marker is over here. If I have been here or not. I thought this was, uh. But I was already over here. Maybe not, though. Isn't this the, um. The frost specific burial ground type area? It's not very good weather for sniping, unfortunately, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, we're already over here, right? Wasn't I already here? Yeah, I was already here. Maybe I was here and then I had to reload because of a crash or something and it didn't count that. I don't know. I already read that note though. Anyways, that's not where we're going. I was just curious why that wasn't uh, explored yet. That's part of the Themis cultist um, chain of lore. That note to Evelyn there is and we read it in the previous video, so I'm not going to go over that right now. But yeah, I want to head over here to Libertalia and do some sniping. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, couldn't have been better weather for this, huh? Couldn't have had some just, you know, regular overcast skies. Had to be this crap, huh? Brought a bunch of food and water as well. Oh, uh, between episodes, of course. We were, in the previous episode, we were down over at the uh, GNN Plaza, the Gunner's Plaza, and uh, I walked myself back up to Valenti, and uh, I don't know what going into Valenti Station did, what it triggered or fixed or whatever, but it did seem to fix the bug. I can talk to people now and I can use workbenches again, so I don't know. I just don't know. But, it's working now. <coughs> so yeah, I'm not sure what the, uh, the issue is, but... It's fixed now, and I'm just happy it's working, so we'll just hope it keeps working, I guess. Right, so we are coming up on Libertalia here. Yes, I ought to be able to get some... Kills in... Here. Is that a guy or is that a rust spot? It's a rust spot. I ought to be able to mark them from here. And wow, I was close to leveling already, I guess. Is that really not hitting that? 
I guess I'm out of range there. That's surprising. I can't believe I'm out of range here. That's bizarre. Yeah, I'm not killing it in one shot, so I must be super out of range here. Alright, well, you know, whatever. It's fine. Did do a lot of damage to it, I guess. Well, it's just cloudy now. It's no longer a rad storm. I guess that's marginally better. Not really. Is it a guy or is that like a corpse? It's a corpse up there. Nose itching, sorry. Had to pause to scratch my nose before I got that mine. Shit. I can't hit him. Can't get him from here. He's being a dumb dumb, hiding behind walls. Or maybe being a smart smart, I guess, because he's hiding behind walls. <laughs> so, the uh, dangerous part of the Libertalia, well, number one, there is a guy with a missile launcher around here somewhere. Um, that's a mannequin. Those are all mannequins. Okay. Now, they may be fighting each other, not me. I guess it could be worse weather. I do have a jetpack, which makes falling in the water uh, less bad. I can probably get out if I fall in, as long as I have some AP. Who's using all my ammo up over there? In fact, I could probably jump over and make it to that middle part if I really wanted to. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I have 12 perk points, guys. Um, so I thought about this a bit, and, um... I think I'd like to invest in the sneak. It's one of those things that, like, I've just put off forever because it's it's a nice-to-have thing. You no longer uh, do floor-based traps either, which is nice. Uh, running no longer adversely affects stealth. And then the last perk point there. It's a really nice thing to have, and I want to have it eventually, for sure. Um, so, I figured, you know, might as well go ahead and invest into it. Other thing I'd like to get is um, investing into Endurance. Um, I want to get Life Giver first, I think, because that health regen is really nice. But it's better per point than just raw endurance is. I have very, very high damage resist right now. My problem is mainly that I don't have no, uh, a lot of health, and there's just not enough ways to uh, increase that. So I think I'm just going to shove all the points into endurance for a while until I have it maxed out, and I'll get the uh, relevant endurance perks. That'll be really important for whenever I embark on a journey to go to a another place that we'll be going to eventually. One of several other places we'll be going to eventually. 
which I haven't decided which uh, one I'll go to first, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's going to depend... Ugh. Voice cracking. It's going to depend on some other factors that are, like, not in my control. Well, I've gone through... I've gone through my, uh, ammo on this thing, like, crazy fast. That's okay, though. We got some good snipes off. I want to save the ammo if I can now, I think, for any dangerous long-range guys. Like, if there's a... There's a feller with a missile launcher up there, I'll want to, uh kill him from a long range away because you know you can dodge missiles you can dodge them pretty good if they're from a long range away um, not so much if you're up close and the effective range of this with it being reflex sighted is going to be a bit less than my gauze rifle Not gonna focus on loot and stuff here too much. Um, Kill them all and let God oh. sort them out. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I will try to scope some guys out here. A lot of them, a lot of them, I just want to get a tag on so I know where they are. There's that sneak perk already coming in handy. Made him lose me right away. A lot of experience there. Did that just make me... Did that make me invisible for a second? It does. I don't have that on my power armor. Wait. Hold on. Is that a thing? Does it make you briefly go invisible? Um, I already have it maxed out. Can I not see it now that I have it maxed out? I guess I can't. I, I want to see... Whatever. Yeah, it totally gives me like a stealth boy effect for a second there. Okay, well, I mean, that's fine. You know, there could be beer in there. That's true, there could be beer. That's the only reason I'm opening it. Or, you know, chems as well. Yeah, okay. Worth it. Oh, what did I say, guys? There could be beer in here. Empty. They're all empty. Well, this certainly was some beer. It was worth it. Could be antibiotics in here. Got it. What I say, guys? What did I say? Could be some antibiotics. Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah. So we're we crossed over. We're at Nahant now. This is actually not really where I want to go. Not quite where I want to go anyway. You can't, like, row this, can you? I actually saw a, um, a mod that gives you what looked to me like a usable little rowboat. I think that would be amazing. That'd be really cool. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, look, there's a... It's a functional floating rowboat right there. 
you know, why couldn't you? I mean, there would be motorboats, too, that probably survived the destruction, or that you could fix up a little bit and it would work just fine. I would think. Just like in uh, Rust, you know, you can take your little, you can find those little uh, motorboats. What the fuck? That did not let me jump. In fact, it like forcefully shoved me down in the water when I tried to jump. Okay, that was bizarre. There is some stuff out there, but it's really not worth going out there while there's potentially people with missile launchers and stuff up there. Man, this is this is crap weather. It's always you know, every time, every time I go and say I'm gonna do some sniping. No. No you're not, because it's gonna be foggy or pitch black. Black rain or fog so thick you can cut it with a knife. And you're not gonna be able to. There's there's a guy. There's a dude. Turn my light off, I guess. No, turn. Wait a minute. I don't have my light on. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah, I did. Never mind. Never mind. Icon's in a different spot whenever you're in here. The hell did you go? God damn it. There's a window there. You're supposed to use this thing to get over there, but, I mean, I don't have to. Yeah, you should be. I think he's up inside of there. Oh no, he's up. <laughs> There's a sentry bot pairing up, I just heard him. Okay, somebody just fell down and died. Or maybe they're fighting each other. That works for me too. What I was gonna say is I could probably you know, it's it's probably fine. I'll just I'll just go ahead and take this thing over now. I could probably jetpack over there, but they're all mostly dead now, so it shouldn't matter too much. The idea of this place is that you're walking into a fight, basically. We should use a bandage at the very least. Alert. Hostile remains at large. Recommend non combatants seek secure location. Soul heavy stuff? Nah, a bunch of us light. Combat armor. Um, where the hell do I go? To go upstairs. Oh, it's over here. He's right above over here. Who's gonna target? Is 
See in here. Ooh, he is. Okay. Um. Yes, this might do it. Might be time for some drugs, as usual. Okay, that works. And this is on six. Okay. Weakness. Oh, we can't be having that. That's more damage taken. No thanks. Means I gotta use those, and I gotta do some water probably. Am I, am I dehydrated now? Yeah, severely dehydrated. Okay, then we'll do some water. And a fungal moonshine, because why not? Uh, are we hungry? A little bit. Do some uh, cram. And I'll do some food paste as well. I want to see how many hit points I have. 430, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I was going to fall down for a second there. Come on, people. I need a target. Did that even do any damage to him? I don't think it did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it didn't. Thank you. Ow. That kind of hurt. Did all these guys just get wrecked by the robots? Probably. Okay, Captain's Course is where we have to go. I want to get at least the beer. There might be more guys out here too. Definitely one or two more up top though, I think. Inside of here. Because they have uh, lore we're going to need. Recon bunker access code 429A in an operation log. Alright, let's see what the operation log says. Uh, yeah. Notes. Let's see. Operation log... Operation Liberty Found, status log A3BX29, primary target alias Bishop neutralized before team arrived, no sign of package Hotel Romeo, survivor alias Iscariot taken back to Recon Bunker Theta via Vertibird for questioning. So they took someone back to Recon Bunker Theta for questioning. This is our clue on where we should go next. Recon Bunker Theta is up here, I believe. Or it's around this area somewhere. It's where you go with the uh, Paladin Dance to find the old Brotherhood guy, the survivor of the initial scouting team that went to the Commonwealth and had his the rest of his um his team wiped out. I believe it was uh Paladin Brandis, I wanna say is his name. Order form and Troy Bishop's journal. Let's check out order form first. Recipient Bishop Troy, the following information is of extremely extensive nature. I trust you will maintain the utmost discretion in handling this matter as I know you have had in regards to our mutual friend. 
The package you will receive in Oslo represents a significant investment on our behalf of the institution I, I represent. Our associate will transfer the package into your care at the previously discussed locale and you will proceed to U.S. waters. Before docking in Boston, package HRD4, that is uh, package Hotel Romeo, will be transferred to a second ship, the Liberty 6. An associate will meet you there to retrieve the package and administer compensation. Dr. Richard Lerna. So Troy Bishop was transferring something for Dr. Richard Lerna. Um, he was transferring the package HRD4, a.k.a. package Hotel Romeo, um, to Liberty 6. Which uh, I believe this is part of this... Uh, the area that we're at now, it's part of, it's part of that. Okay. Troy Bishop's journal. 102877. I'm fucked. The Columbia went down and with her the package. All right, so Troy Bishop, I believe, was on the Columbia, which was his boat, and that was the initial boat that he was transferring package HRD4 to the uh, Liberty Six. So the Columbia went down and with her the package. Dealing with Lerna is going to be a bit tougher seeing as my leverage just went down the drain. The back door key is gone too. To make things worse, the crew's mutinous. Imbeciles, this isn't the end of the world. I know what Lerna is. He's alive and he's waiting. 4.15.82 I don't believe it. Survivors from the, the Columbia. Isker says he's got the package and the key to boot. He's been at the Liberty this whole time, building the place into a goddamn fortress. We're back on, meeting him there. Okay, so alias Iscariot was at um, the the Columbia, or no, from he's at uh, the Liberty, Liberty 6, which is here. So he survived the Columbia going down. So Isker was part of the smuggling crew initially as well, I believe. Must have been like his, maybe his first mate or, or one of his crew members. Um, and he survived as well and made his way to Liberty 6, or maybe they picked him up, whatever. And he has the back door key and the package as well. So Isker says he has the package. I don't know if he actually has it or not. Terminal. What's on here? Sick Semper Tyrannus. Thus always to tyrants. I remember sitting at a broken card table all those years ago repeating the words as if that basement was the floor of a Roman Senate. We thought we could make a difference, free ourselves from the bonds of tyranny. But what do we have to show for it? I'm a goddamn smuggler and everyone else at that table is dead now. I know my part. So this is Isker writing this. 1,000 good people, brought them to Liberty, plenty of rations and weapons, this place is really starting to come together. Even got some old uniforms for when Bishop returns. I'll tell him they were part of the crew. It's not like he knew us well enough to tell a difference. Then we finish this. Sounds like maybe he might have wanted to betray him, not really sure. Okay, well, let's see uh, what else we've got over here. Nice bed here, too. I think, isn't there a, uh, at least in, in Frost, in, in, before patches and stuff, there was, uh, the shotgun was still here, but I think maybe they removed it, unfortunately, which, I don't know, like, is it really necessary to remove every single little thing like that? I know it was, like, probably it was an oversight on Nogram's part to leave it in, but at the same time, like, did it really hurt anything to leave it in? It wasn't that overpowered. Although I know Nagram's opinion on legendaries is that they just shouldn't exist. So, I do understand if they removed it. I checked the safe as well. There might be some antibiotics in here for free. Just a novice shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, no. Okay, we'll go to the top then, I guess, and see what's up here. 
But yeah, unfortunately, the gun's not here. It's the, uh... Le Fusil's terrible, I believe. It's the extra limb damage or whatever. Nobody up here? Doesn't seem to be anyone here. Though I might have shot them already and, and they already have, like, fell off too, I don't know. Might be that corpse down there. Those chunks down there. Pretty sure that's all the relevant uh, lore that we need from here anyway. Master terminal, huh? Ooh boy. See you guys in a little bit. Okay, got it. Nice. That wasn't too bad, actually. Alright, what do we got in here? Just some random stuff. Nothing crazy. Okay. Alright, well, I'm going to check the corpse down here to make sure I got stuff off of it, but uh, I don't think there's anything else here that I really need, so we should be done. And the next leg of the, of the uh, main quest in Frost is taking us to Recon Bunker Theta. Ooh, nice. Another sneaky, sneaky manual. This is not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Don't really need it, though. I don't need the backpack, either. I just see a large backpack, and it's like, ooh, large backpack, but I don't, I'm never going to use it. There's no, re there's no reason for it. All right, well, let's go up um, and head towards Nahant, I think. She got his little trick here. I'm not sure if this actually helps or not. The uh, jet fuel. I'll try it. See how far we can get over here. Okay, I don't I don't feel comfortable going any further out over that. I probably could have made it to over there, but I don't know. You can go quite a ways though. Just pumping your jetpack. If you get a running jump, you uh, you can go pretty far. Until you like kind of let go, then inertia just takes you down very, very fast. Alright, we can at least explore the docks and stuff here, I think, a little bit before we end the episode. See if we find anything good here. I know there's a lot more I could explore over on the Libertalia. Probably a lot of loot that I missed, but, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Anymore, it doesn't, just doesn't matter that much. <laughs> I think I just saw something. Is that a ghoul? Yeah, it's a ghoul. Did I get... I got a rank 3 proc from... from that discovery. It's pretty funny. This is the PD. I would like to look around and see if I can find the next any winter holotape here. If there is one here. Uh-oh. There we go. Was stuck for a second. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go switch back to the bright headlamp at some point. Should've done that before when I was back at the base. I just didn't think about it. Because the other one is still just not even close to cutting it. It's pretty bad. Okay, well not- oh! Is it right here? There it is. There's the next one. Hmm. 
we'll check here too to see if uh, there's any, anything more here. Uh, Nahant and East Boston PD. I think I already got that one. Maybe I didn't, but we'll get there eventually if I haven't. Should have marked it on my map if I hadn't already. A bunch of these are not lootable. Well, there's not a huge deal, which is kind of weird. All right. Well, there's that. Um, I don't know what else is really here. If anything at all, I really need. That'd be like a cheeky way to hide a fusion core or something up there in that little box up above that you have to pull it down to be able to get to it. I'm not going to bother getting on that ship. It just is too much of a hassle. Doubt I'll find anything worth my time there. Kind of a desolate area, to be honest. There's just not much of interest here. It's a power armor bench. If I somehow magically find the stuff I need for a headlamp, I guess I could swap out my headlamp. Literally nothing in here besides some bottles. I don't really need bottles anymore. I'm not going to worry about them. By the time I need them, I won't be in the Commonwealth anymore. Yeah, and the hand is just... This isn't, isn't anything here. This is a, um, a settlement. Let me make sure I don't have any settlements again. I'm always paranoid about that. It doesn't actually matter, I think. Well, maybe it's the next version of Frost where you can get them. You just can't use them. That's right. Croup Manor. We are just moving right along on the experience now, though. Very nice, very nice indeed. Oh, these guys are all high level. It's great. Should be more upstairs, too. Still going. One more big boy up here. I think there's one more. One more big boy. That was a level and a half off that one area. Should be another guy in the basement down below too. Which I will try to get into as quick as I can. Here we go and kill him and get some more experience with my buff still going. Oh, several.
Okay, only one that gave decent experience. That is all um, pre-war stuff. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to even bother with this safe. I'll take your rum, though. Okay. That's all I really need in here. Is that, what, three levels I got so far this episode? That's really, really good. Oh, just, no, just one level up. Okay, never mind. Thought I got more than that. Yeah, whatever. Well, I guess I, I guess the one I got, I used right away. Okay, just making sure. Yep, we don't own it. Good. Okay, that's all that's here. There should be a couple other things over here. If I remember correctly, there should be a couple of survivors over here. Or at least in uh, Horizon, when I was over here, I got my butt kicked one time by a couple of random raiders, which would be survivors in Frost. They'd be converted over, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I kicked my butt over here. Did a lot of damage. Probably just random. They just randomly have, like, really good gear or something. Which can happen occasionally. Oh, they're ghouls, I guess. Well, that works. Hey. Man, oh man, I am just getting lucky all the time here. Any more? So I'd like some more. Oh. Over here. No, you're just propped up. Upstairs? I hear somebody. There's one. There we go. That should be all. Okay. Very reasonable. No complaints there. Kind of a neat little dock area here. My god. Stop tripping all the time. And there's, what, church over here? Maybe some more ghouls over here. Ghouls love to hang out in churches. They're very religious folk, you know? <laughs> well, there's no, no crucified people here, so it shouldn't be anything freaky, thankfully. Just a regular abandoned church. M-S-Y? Hmm. Maybe. Might just be random, but... Might... Also mean something. Is that... No, that was a ghoul I heard. Oh, it was a bear! Hello, bear. I wonder if that bear spawns when you enter the church. Dear lord, that was a lot of experience. I don't think I still have Idiot Savant going. That was just a regular experience amount. Maybe I did, but holy cow. I don't even know where he went. He went to an ash pile and I can't see it now. Whatever. I don't need the meat that bad. Haven't saved in forever. Be a real shame to crash right now. After all that progress. crash like that would just ruin my whole evening, you know? Wouldn't want to play it all anymore. At least for the night. Have to walk away and do something else for a while. Is 
this the Nahant Oceanological Society, I think. Yeah. Oceanological Society. Oh, there are lots of eggs over here, that's right. Uh, okay, let's do eggs first, I guess. I'll go inside. I do want the eggs. I guess I want the crab meat too. I just can't be bothered anymore. I'll take the eggs. I'll take the eggs, but I'm gonna... I want to stomp these guys as much as I can. Oh, do they still spawn anyway? Huh. Thought if you broke the eggs, they didn't spawn, but I guess they still did. Do I have depth of field on? Or is that just how that looks? Uh, that's just how that looks. That's... It's without my depth of field on. Okay. Looks like crap, but all right. I still have, uh, still have my crit going from overdrive. I, it lasts like 45 minutes now, which lasts a long time. Oh yeah, they do spawn. They're just not as readily, like, visible. Even more? You were able to brave these guys, this area, and, and actually kill them without dying in the beginning of the game. You were like an expert mute crab slayer, and you had hunter rank one at least, ideally with this survival guide perk, because you get two crab meat per on these with, with the uh, the perk magazine that you get over at um, Sunshine Titan Co-op. You could live like a king on crab meat and crab eggs for a long time. I'm gonna guess probably ghouls in here, but guess we'll see. Maybe nothing. Oh, robots. I heard a robot there. Heard the burner of a the thruster of a uh, Mr. Handy. Are you friendly, Mr. Handy? Yeah, you are. A whale's eyeballs are fixed. To look in a different direction, it must turn its whole body. That's actually kind of crazy if you think about it. Considering, you know, how big a whale is. But then again. Approximately 70% information update. Approximately 97% of all life on the average depth of the Atlantic Ocean is 3,928 meters. That's terrifying, actually, how deep that is. Considering I was terrified of, uh,. Going, well, to like even 200 meters in Subnautica. That's it. I mean, I did it. I went all the way down and finished the game. But it was terrifying the whole time. Okay, one schematic. All right, that's pretty much everything here. 
All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap this one up here for the episode. Next time, we're going to be heading up. I have plenty of food and stuff, and I think I still have some carry weight. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe I don't. Okay, so maybe I'll head back in between and dump off all of my, uh, my gains here. What am I at for Sandy? I can probably just chug some booze right now. What about now? Okay, yeah, we're good now. So yeah, maybe I'll go back and dump off all the stuff I have gathered, cook some eggs, and then I'll just live off of uh, mute crab omelets for the rest of my existence in this portion of the playthrough. And uh, then I'll head up towards Recon Bunker Theta, which is quite a long trip, and I'll want to explore um, Saugus and some other areas that I missed in this area too. Along the way, maybe stop by the slog, slaughter some ghouls for fun. And uh, because they won't let us have the tar berries if I don't, because I want those tar berries so I can make berry mentats, then yeah, we'll get up here to Recon Bunker Theta and uh, find out what the U.S. Army Remnants found out uh, whenever they were talking to, Is I believe Isker is who they have up there. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.